Being 28 years old, I feel like I'm kind of in the middle between millennial and Gen Z. Also, being on TikTok long enough has allowed me to study the lingo of Gen Alpha. This combination of unique traits has unfortunately led me to be the designated translator for my less chronically online friends. As an example, I will show you this video from King Curly Spoon on Reddit, and I'll show you what I mean. Can I help you, sir? Grimace shake, please. A Grimace shake is a limited edition berry flavored McDonald's milkshake that sparked a horror trend where people would drink the milkshake and pretend to be killed by Grimace, the purple mascot of McDonald's. In your fat skibbity idiot. Let's break this one down. In this context, fat means large, skibbity means good, and giat means butt, I think. Also as a side note, skibbity means good, whereas skibbity toilet means bad, I think. Thank you for the galaxy. A galaxy is a type of gift that a creator on TikTok Live can receive, worth 1,000 coins. Saying thank you for the galaxy is an affirmation of your contribution. I would like to know why you wouldn't edge with me yesterday. I don't really feel like explaining this one. You can look it up. I broke my edging streak during Queso's last stream. Queso is the username of one of the most famous Twitch streamers on the platform right now. I mewed here yesterday waiting to mock with someone. Mewing is a technique to enhance the shape of one's jawline by pressing the tongue to the roof of the mouth. As a side note, a mewing streak is when one mews for a continuous and excessive amount of time, thus building up a mewing streak. Mogging is the idea of being more physically attractive than another person, essentially one-upping someone. This is part of what is known as the looks maxing trend, which aims to increase the overall physical appearance of a person through multiple different factors. I believe that person was Baby Gronk. Baby Gronk is a 12-year-old football player with some sort of social media presence. I'm not too sure on this one. However, Gronk comes from the nickname of Rob Gronkowski, a very good and famous football player for the New England Patriots. I think that you're confusing me for Kaisen. Kaisen Ad is the name of another very famous Twitch streamer. Are you calling me a beta? Beta is the second letter in the Greek alphabet, behind Alpha, the first. Whereas an alpha is typically considered a very powerful and successful leader, a beta is often considered secondary, inferior, or subordinate. Calling someone a beta is essentially a slight, saying that they are inferior. Sir, if you want V-Bucks, I suggest you riz up Libby Dunn. V-Bucks are a form of e-currency used in the video game Fortnite in order to buy skins and other cosmetics within the game. Riz is short for charisma. Thus, to riz someone up essentially means to show them your charisma or flirt with them. And Livy Dunn is an LSU gymnast who has a heavy social media presence and is very popular amongst the teenage boys of Gen Alpha. Think our generation's Megan Fox. I was told that the man I would be mewing with is very skibbity. A sigma. Pop quiz, because we've already covered two of these words. If you forgot, go back and check. However, a sigma essentially breaks the mold of the traditional alpha-beta dynamic. A sigma is often considered a type of lone wolf, someone who is powerful and successful while breaking the societal molds that have been set forth by alphas. I don't think Phantom Tax Battle Pass, all right? A battle pass is a form of paid progression system within the video game Fortnite, and I have absolutely no idea what Phantom Tax means. Thank you.